how would we name a particular kind of an angle in geometry? Um, I know that, you know, we have types of angles, such as an acute angle or an obtuse angle, but how would we give it a particular name for a specific angle? Well, I'm not one to randomly select letter tiles from a Scrabble board to give names. So what I usually resort to is a resource like this, a baby name book. Um, there's so many names to choose from in, in a source resource like this. Uh, and it doesn't have to be gender specific. Um, any, any name will do. Um, you can come up with your own. It doesn't have to be in a baby name book. But um, that's not really what you should do <laughs> to name an angle. Uh, in geometry, when we name um, angles, uh, especially ones we're trying to find measures to, we, we typically name them by the points on the line and a vertex. Uh, there's another way we usually uh, name by, and that's also we name it by its measure. Um, I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. In the first example I have prepared, this is an acute angle. It is adorable, isn't it? I drew that myself. In this angle, if you notice, um, I have an angle mark, but I also have the number one. Really, all that is is an identifier. I'm just, I just want you to identify to angle number one. I want you to find the measure of that particular angle. I would say find the measure of angle one, and then you would know which angle I was referring to. And that's it. That's, that's all that really means when you see these situations. In this second example, I don't have a number inside the angle I want you to find. What I've done is I've put a point on each of the rays and I labeled the points with a letter. I've also put a point and labeled it at the vertex where the lines intersect. I am going to use those to name my angle. So in this case, there are two possibilities we could name this angle. The first possibility would be angle IDK. That's on purpose. The other possibility would be angle KDI. And those are the only two. If you noticed, the vertex or the label for the vertex always comes in the center. So you will always put that in the center of the name of the angle. The points on the rays can flip-flop. It can come first or last. So the order of those two do not matter. For this last example, I want to see if you can come up with the name of two angles on your own. The um, acute angle and the obtuse angle. Not the straight angle. We'll get to that in another episode. See if you can come up with a name of two different angles, one for the acute angle and one for the obtuse angle. How did you do? Well, let's check. One of the possibilities would have been angle PMN or NMP. So that would be for the acute angle. The other one, the obtuse angle, could have been either LMP or PML, with the vertex being listed in the center of either of those names. And that's it. That's all it is to it.